instructions from authorities. Until the threat has subsided, Well, hello guys. Welcome to this week's video. This is a, a minor change in plans. I actually had a different shoot set up and planned for today, but life happens and um, the model was not able to meet up. So I'm shifting gears here and I'm going to be playing around with some light. But first, I need to find my fog machine. Aha, bingo. All right, fog machine secured. So one thing to note is that I plan on shooting one roll of Provia 100, which is slide film. Now slide film doesn't have as high dynamic range as color negative film. Um, so as we're lighting, we're just gonna have to keep that in mind and we're gonna try and stay between five to seven stops. I bought a prop this morning that I have additional photos planned for, but I thought I could just incorporate it into the shoot today and do some dreamy, hazy, just fun, experimental pictures today. So first things first, I'm going to fill up our whole garage with fog and haze, unplug these lights and then start bringing everything out here. It is quickly getting very toasty in here. What I am going to do is just slide this flash on. There we go. So that is just for ease of use right there. So what I'm using here, this is my um, Godox trigger with a PC sync cable going into my Mamiya RB67 90 millimeter C-Core lens. So that's looking pretty good. I'm liking the atmosphere here. My mannequin, however, is taller than me. And so I'm gonna need to use this ladder to even be able to look into my Mamiya because I have the waist level viewfinder. So here we go. This first shot I'm thinking is just gonna be straight on, no additional light besides this um, Godox AD200 Pro, which is right above him and feathered quite a bit. So I'm actually even gonna feather it even more. So the, basically just the edge and softest part of the light is gonna cascade down the front of him and give him some shape. At least that is the plan. Everything up, we've got ISO 100 because this is Provia 100. And I'm gonna go ahead and meter for right here. There we go, F4 is exactly what I was hoping for. That'll give us a measure for the highlights and hopefully everything else will go a nice moody kind of dark. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the dark slide. Bingo, shot one in the can. Moving on. Okay, so for this second shot, I'm thinking all I'm really gonna do is kind of add some 
sci-fi-ish colors to just kind of help help the whole atmosphere pop. So bingo, bango, bongo. So if there were going to be a moral or takeaway from this video, I would hope it would be something along the lines of get creative with what you have. I, I'm gonna try and light this whole thing and make some really cool, fun pictures just with three lights. I've got my flash, and then I'm just gonna use these two aperture MC lights as accents and colors, and they don't have to be the aperture MC lights. They could, they could be any little cheap lights that you just throw some cellophane over. You can go to any Hobby Lobby and buy some cellophane for three bucks and you've got yourself some gels that'll, that'll basically help you create whatever colors you would ever want. So I'm using these because I have them lying around and they're convenient and they're small but powerful. So now I'm kind of getting some speed racer vibes even from this, which is kind of fun. And just a, you know, shout out to the inner nerd in me. He's, my mannequin here is wearing his Star Wars shirt. My Star Wars shirt. That'd be insanity for a mannequin to own clothes. All right, so I'm thinking the next shot is gonna be something like that. Oh man. I don't know if that looks cool or if it just looks like a cheesy Highway Patrol commercial. Unfortunately, right now it's filling Highway Patrol-ish. Let's see that. Yeah, that's kind of cool. So now let's go ahead and just take our readings. Like I said, we need to be somewhere between five and seven stops. How is that not? I think the fog is kind of screwing with my light meter. So we're looking at F4 still at an eighth of a second for, for full power on that one. And I'm okay with that because when you're working with flash, um, the intensity of the flash is going to be the same regardless of the shutter speed. Uh, because we are shooting with a leaf shutter, I can shoot up to 1 400th of a second, and then the ambient light will just continue exposing after the flash has done that. So an eighth is, is fine with me, though I think I'm just gonna pump a little bit more fog in here because it's taken me so long to get everything going that, that the fog is dissipating a little bit. Okay, let's get ready for this one. Like I said, we're shooting at one eighth of a second here. F4. Cool. So now the name of the game is just gonna be playing with the, the lights that we have set up, changing the colors, getting some different effects going on, and shooting eight more photos. This one, I'm gonna go for more of a silhouette thing with green. So I'm going to be moving this feathered light, our flash, just to feather the opposite way. We're just gonna hit the, the back of our guy's head here. I do want it as close as I can get it to him without being in the frame. F4, eighth of a second. Okay, so I did have another idea that I'm gonna be going for, and I've basically just switched it, get my guy around. I'm gonna change up my colors again. Maybe this time I'm gonna try the, the red and blue again. And one thing to note, we're getting, we're, we're seeing reflection here. So whether you see reflection from this camera isn't a big deal, but I will have to go check my shot and just make sure I'm not getting any ugly reflections. Okay, F4, one 
half of a second. Bingo, bango, bongo. I've never said that before in my life. And I've said it twice now in this video. All right, let's give this shot a try. So now I'm just gonna be doing a very atmospheric backlight. I'm gonna be utilizing the window light and then filling it in a little bit on this side. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. So I'm going to lower this one a little bit now because I'm still seeing that light. I'm gonna put some fog right in the center to really bloom that one light. Yeah, that's cool. Let's go ahead and try this. Three, two. Cool. So that puts us at seven. So that means we've got eight, nine, ten. Three more shots here. Let's get a little crazy. So the second I said, let's get a little crazy, I knew exactly the shot that I wanted to do. And I have the lighting moved to match that. Um, but I'm not gonna show you until the picture is complete. At this point, you, you get the point. I'm just moving these lights around until I get something that looks a little interesting and I'm giving it a try. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the remaining few pictures and then wrap her up.